Hey y'all, I'm coming to y'all on Sunday. I don't know what the date is, but it's Sunday. I wanted to get to y'all sooner and do like a whole, a lot more, but we got hit with a hurricane. It's been, it's the third day since the hurricane has hit. Power is still out, like surrounding areas. We have power in the house, thankfully, because when we were out of power for like 10 hours, it was the worst. Phone lines like, are working. Only calls would come through. I could barely send text messages to my friends. Reading all day, and I didn't want my computer to die because in case my computer died, well, if my computer died, I wouldn't be able to charge my phone. And if I couldn't charge my phone, you know, it's like a whole cycle. So I was trying not to do too much because I had started on my computer by doing some work, but then I was like, hold on, I need to, I need to save this battery. Somehow. I talked a little bit about it on TikTok. I, it's called Ace of Spades. Such a so many feelings in one book and it's really like revamped my love for reading again because when i tell you like i was binge reading that book and it wasn't just because i had nothing else to do it was so interesting and i had to get to the bottom of it because i was upset for one and it was just it's so sad like how real the concept of the book is and if you read it and you know about it then you know like what i'm talking about like it's just the reality of the world that we've been in. These systems, they aren't for us. They don't want us there. And so we just got to push our way through. For what I want to do, like the impact I want to leave, it like it could be done. But the support that HBCUs have, and I've never really gotten it because I've been at PWIs. My dad, he is an HBCU. You know, he went to North Carolina A&T. So, like, I've always had that history, but not directly. And I just know how important it is to learn from your own people. Make them see me when there's communities that see me and love me for who I am and are doing the best that they can and want us to prosper. Know what we've been through. You don't have to explain anything. It's just, like, a weight off your shoulders. Like, I want that. You know, like, I want that when I go to law school. But like I was saying, we've been in a hurricane, so... Things aren't good. Power being out in South Carolina and seeing power lines down, trees down, trees almost hitting people's houses is is something. It's scary and like like I said, like just when I think about the other cities and towns that have it worse, there's towns that are gone in North Carolina. There's bridges, roadways that are down in Tennessee, North Carolina. Like it's it's a travesty. And now moving forward, I have the LSAT coming up this week. Finally, and I'm getting <laughs> not nervous for it, but I need to perfect, not perfect, well, really perfect, but you know, I need to get things done. So like <laughs> studying more and more, and I studied a lot yesterday, but LSAT's coming up, I have to prepare for that. So you may or may not get this vlog in time because I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I just wanted to like give y'all this update real quick at the start of this. And whenever I have time to come back to y'all, I will, but I just wanted to share, like, what's been happening lately and what's been on my mind. So, until I catch y'all on the next bit. I was about to say, it's no way this camera died on me when I have not used it. I'm kind of semi back. I'm coming to y'all. I don't know last time I came to y'all. I feel like it was either, um, what is it? today today is thursday y'all it's thursday so whenever i last came to y'all i don't know it's probably sunday i've been studying for the lsat the lsat's tomorrow but in my lsat prep i've been very very stressed out on the virtual tiers like, i'm smart or whatever these people they test you but today oh my gosh i have no earrings in that's so Ew. here today i was trying to get all my other stuff out the way and also just so i wouldn't focus on law school on law like else i'm at Tarjay, and i'm gonna get some stuff because i need the relief of shopping or something and i need an outfit so i'm gonna just get like a two-piece from target i also want to get like makeup because i need like I need brown bronzer and I don't know if my skin's changing colors but I feel like my makeup isn't doing what makeup should but that's what I'm doing in order to boost my energy before I take the LSAT tomorrow morning I'm back home 
if y'all i wish i could show y'all how eerie things look outside it looked like a ghost town because there was no lights on in any of the houses there's no street lights or anything on and they're doing a good job of like getting stuff back up and running but it's still like if i could have shown y'all i would have but it's just so like driving around there aren't many street lights up the houses they mostly have power back but the streets themselves they don't have like those lights up either they're gone or like they're just not on so yeah it's very eerie to see it yeah, i got my oh i got my stuff not really everything like my makeup is on here I, I take the LSAT today in a few hours. I've just been getting ready. I've packed the bag, but honestly, I'm not even really gonna bring the bag inside. I'm just putting some of my stuff in it, like my wallet, whatever. But they have like strict restrictions. I need more. Yeah, they have strict restrictions. Like my phone can't be in there during. So I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring this book. I need to find a bookmark because, you know, they're strict on everything, but they'll probably be like, uh, you can't even use that bookmark. Whatever. Um, yeah, so this morning I've just really been focusing on not focusing on the LSAT too much. I did watch like one or two videos just to, you know, make sure I'm not completely lost on the subject. And I did make uh, flashcards on Wednesday, so it's already in my mind. I already know i know i know what each question stem is asking of me that's that's not a problem the overall aspect of the lsat is just making sure i know the argument making sure i know the argument understand the argument and can apply it into the questions sometimes i do a good job on it sometimes i don't it's because the tester i mean the the writers they they be on some stuff and it'd be confusing <clears throat> yikes um so yeah i have been feeling better about it just this morning me and my line sister we're both taking the lsat today she's taking it like she's about to take it sooner than i am but yeah i'm about to head up because i have to be there 30 minutes earlier is my phone charged even though i won't be on it though but. all right i'm here at the testing center i'm eating some bojangles because i need some food um because I'm, I'm testing at 12 and like i'm just being hungry but I'm not gonna bring my bag. Can you see her? I'm not gonna bring my bag in because I just don't want there to be like any other things. So I'm leaving my phone, everything else, and I'm bring my ID, um, pencil, lip gloss, and my snack. That's it. Oh, and my book. I'm gonna bring my book. But yeah, it's finally time, y'all. The phone is out because I just needed to do my hair i need to do something with it so it's just big it's black it's beautiful because like i've been contemplating on what style i want i do love my kinky sewing a lot of people love my kinky sewing however i don't know if i want to do it anymore because i really want like a robert if you know if you know what i'm talking about i'm gonna put it like over here I just need something new because like after i have been focusing on the lsat like so much i'm actually bringing out with me on the process of it and we're just gonna have like a self-care day after i plan out my month if so y'all know i'm also doing tiktok too so hi y'all and i know i look rough starting because i finished my pre-poo pre -poo process it took me like an hour it was a little longer but i really had to detangle my hair and this is how much hair shedded and i only use my hands for this pre food detangling process and i'm not gonna put like tools like my brush and my comb until i condition my deep condition my hair so right now i'm about to go in and shampoo and I'm going to shampoo twice. Camille Rose shampoo and then my Innocent shampoo. 
because they have different purposes. One's clarifying and then the other is like more hydrating so I need that. And I do also have a scalp cleanse that I will be putting on my scalp because yeah I just feel like my the braids they were good for the moment but they also put like the stress and my scalp just needs to needs a little bit of repair. Yeah, so. while she is winning I this is my hair freshly washed but I'm trying to put some I'm deep conditioning right now and it's taking a lot longer i haven't eaten lunch it's 3 30 i believe yes yeah, 3 30 on the dot so i must just i need to get this i need to get this done basically to set up my steamer just so my hair can get um i don't you know okay listen i don't know the full benefits Hair is washed and drying. I'm moisturized and dressed. Now I can finally start on my planning part of the day. Okay, so I have everything laid out for me on my bed. This is my um, like manifestation journal, affirmations, journal, journal, you know. This is where like I put down all of my ideas so I can like see like what i'm thinking and just put it out on paper because sometimes the words just get stuck in my head so i need to write it down so that's what this little notebook is for and of course i have my computer because i'm gonna put like all of the things that i draft up basically like all of my planning into like my notion calendar on my computer what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put out some of the important topics or categories in my life so it's gonna be you know real people they say finances but I don't like to focus too much on finances. Categories are going to be fitness, social media slash content. Then it's going to be internships that I have. And another category is going to be law school, just making sure my applications, you know, that's what that's going to be all about. And finally, my last category is going to be health mindset in there. Oh, I also will add like another category. I forgot. I'm still in my grad chapter from back in Lubbock, but I'm still a part of it and still in charge of things. So it's definitely going to be a category, aka, yeah. So let me just go ahead and jot it down. Can oh my gosh, y'all. I sat here and wrote down my monthly goals and I already did it mostly in my like manifestation journal. It also has like my social content calendar for every social media account that I have and it also has like recipes um not recipes but little things for each thing each social media that I need and what needs to be put on them what I need to post whoop to whoop like it has all that but I am just seeing I definitely did write down everything for October and how to progress from October and yeah it's just all here but I, it's not I forgot about it, but I wanted to be more specific and I did do that, but I'm wishing I did it in this journal because this has everything, all there is for me to do. Cause I know like what I want need to do for this month is to like, just put it down in my notion calendar. So this actually didn't take that much time, but I don't really journal as much as I should on paper. I just talk to myself. Like it's so much easier to talk to yourself and like who like, if you're really not wanting to talk to anybody else, you can always talk to yourself. So that's what I do. I just have like <laughs> all my recordings where you're moving in the way you want to in life. And it's kind of funny that I am saying that because, you know, things have not played out like how I wanted them to at all. But I just know it's a better purpose. Like for it's for it's always for a reason. There's always better things on the way. And if something didn't work out it didn't work out for a reason and it was protecting me from something even worse so the that i did last week really set me up to just see like everything that i have to do and have it laid out because i do like i am a schedule girly i really am but it's sticking to it and that's the part that gives me i love setting stuff up i love having things look cute but then i'm lazy so that's that's why i have to like put things out and make sure i see it and know everything i have to do and most of the work in my week coming up is going to be monday tuesday and so like i don't have to do as much work in the end of the week and that's just how i've always set up my weeks like i don't like doing too much 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would lay in bed. And that's literally what I did yesterday because today's Sunday. I literally laid in bed all day yesterday to see like what I can make for dinner. Or maybe I should blow dry my hair first. Now I'm gonna finish see what I have for dinner and then I will come back to to the hair situation. I'm ready to go to sleep, like I can't even lie. This is my hair blown out. It's almost 10 o'clock, it's 9.48. I'm tired and I'm looking a little bit crazy. I know, but <laughs> it's just gonna be what it is until I do it. But I'm about to go and do the braid down right now and the braid down is only gonna be half of it. And that's gonna be the easy part. Okay, so now all I got, if you can believe it, this is only the front half of my hair and yeah, like, old quick weave i just use it as like a half wig i need to get like an actual half wig instead of doing this but it works and it's saving me so much time instead of like sewing in here like during this part i could just clip this in and it gives me more time to work on this but honestly i'm gonna just put it back and hope for the best because this is the best my hair is gonna get tonight i'm honestly too tired to deal with it so this is what it's gonna give i don't like it but I'm tapping out on my so even though it's the next day today was meant to be a pamper day y'all but you know i got tied up doing my hair and struggling with it a little bit but i was going to do this foot mask this exfoliating foot mask but it says leave it on for an hour i don't have time for that it's already the next day so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in and do my eye well wash my face first and then do my eyebrows oh give it a minute and then I'm going to just go in with my simple little pedicure kit and do my toenails, you know, a little DIY. But I don't have, um, I did have nail polish, but I don't know where it is. Like, I lose a lot of stuff. So if I find it, then I'm going to do like a little set. I mean, I'm going to do my nail, my toes. But if not, then. watching love is blind <laughs> i was watching a tiktok earlier today and they were talking about how the mixed girls on love is blind they will make sure you know that they are mixed because they will say you know my life has been so confusing because i never knew what to say never what to, knew what to put down on the sheets and so she was like yeah so i'm like a mutt and then the guy she's talking to, not to mention, he did vote for Trump once. She asked him about the, she asked him who he vote, voted for in the presidential elections. And he was like, I voted for Trump the first time, but it was just because I didn't like Hillary, whatever he meant by that. And then he said the second time I voted for Biden because I did not like how Trump handled himself in office. And I just felt a lot stronger in my vote for Biden. Okay. And then he just... Okay, yeah, that's the background on the man. And so the girl, when she said she was a mutt, the guy was like, oh, yeah, you're a mutt for sure. When I tell my brows, this is kind of how they turn out. I believe I'm probably doing it wrong. Probably. But this is how it turns out, and this is what it gives. So, yeah, not a big thing, but, like, I just do it, like, every other now and then whenever I feel like I need it or want to do it. <laughs> But yeah, this is just how they look. Found some of my nail polish. I have blue and purple. And then this is just some other little gel things. So I'm going to be using that to do my toes. Okay, I did say I wasn't going to show my toes, but I'm going to just show it very quickly. This is how one foot came out. And this is everything I've been using. It did take, like, it's literally 2 o'clock right now. 2 o'clock in the morning. And 
I've just been doing my nails. I cannot lie, it's so powerful when you do your own anything. Like, even though I can't do all the hair stuff, it's still powerful enough in just being able to do any type of style on yourself. That's a, That speaks volumes. Now, in doing my eyebrows, and once I get good at it, I may be unstoppable, okay? And I did just do my toes, too, and I did, like, a little French tip, so I'm feeling pretty, pretty good, you know, like, about myself because costs are rising, and nobody has time to, like, give people extra money, especially when they do mediocre jobs. Now, things I will not be paying for myself, like, or doing myself is my lashes. Any other little thing that I can do by myself saves a lot of money, and I just feel so much better in knowing that I did it myself instead of going to somebody else and getting, like, upset that they didn't do their job. So, yeah, I'm feeling very great tonight or today. Whatever. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up this little vlog. I'm going to get back to y'all on Thursday for track tips. You already know. And I did take a break on posting last week because I was testing for the LSAT. Now, this vlog itself, it was very... I don't want to say too chaotic, but it you probably might not have known which way I was going because, you know, it was just a lot of things happening, hurricane, LSAT testing, and when I was taking the LSAT, I didn't want to talk or, like, record during that day just because, like, I didn't want to do it. Like, I didn't want to lose focus on what I was doing, so I just had to, like, be intentional on what I was doing, and if I was... If I was thinking about recording, it just would have been something else. And you can't even talk about too much stuff with LSAT. So I was like, you know, I'm just not going to record at all. So that's why this vlog ended up being like this. And a lot of stuff was not really recorded because I couldn't get around to everywhere or I couldn't record everything. But yes, this was a fun little experience. I did enjoy just kind of getting back to myself. I am probably going to get my nails done tomorrow sadly it was sad that my hair didn't turn out how i wanted it to but it is what it is the appointment is already being in boats please it's so yeah thank you so much for joining me always love any type of support like people who are here and yeah just thank you so much until next time